Namaskar, Namaste, Sadnam, Mahomata Kurasinosyam, Machikasyam to all our relations, blessed be, and welcome here to this practice of yoga. Today's practice is going to be about finding rest, sacred rest, giving ourselves the time to move energy through the body, release some energy from the body, and then in between finding divine rest in order to integrate everything that has moved through you this week everything that comes up through in your practice and anything else that you would like to work on releasing letting go and surrendering so we'll start by finding a comfortable seat in sukhasana easy pose half lotus or lotus pose your choice maybe coming into this comfortable seat sitting on a cushion or a blanket if you need if the knees stay pretty high off the ground Otherwise, pressing your knees down towards the ground and growing long in the spine, aligning the spine with the hips and the sacrum and the tailbone in one line into the earth as the shoulders roll back along the spine. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a big sigh out. A deep breath in through your nose and a big sigh out. breath in through your nose and a big sigh out find your breath filling your belly the diaphragm expands the belly button moves out with each inhale with every exhale the belly goes in squeezing into the organs detoxifying the organs each breath of the inhale brings in prana. Each exhale releases apana. Inhaling light and life force. Exhaling toxins or waste. Releasing. Inhale your arms up above head. Exhale the palms come to your heart center. Bow the head slightly lengthening the back of the neck. Thumbs to the sternum, palms pressed together, elbows tucked in at the rib cage. Consider an intention for your practice. What are you letting go, releasing from, surrendering? Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Inhale. Exhale, place the hands down on the knees. Inhale, pull the chest forward, look up to the sky, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, press into the knees, lean back. Tuck the chin in, send the spine behind. Inhale, pull your heart forward, look to the sky. Exhale, push yourself back, roll the shoulders in. Tuck the chin in, look down, roll the spine behind. Three more, inhale, open the heart. Exhale, move back, sending the back of the heart to the back of the room. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, send the heart back behind. Tuck the chin in, tuck the belly button in. Inhale, raise the heart up. Exhale, come back to a straight spine. Inhale here, big sigh. Deep breath in, big sigh. <sighs> Inhale, light filling your whole body. Exhale, releasing all else. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale, plant your hands in front of your shins and make your way slowly onto your hands and knees. <clears throat> Planting the hands, the wrists beneath the shoulders, fingers spread evenly, pressing into the fingertips, pads of the hands and heels of the hands. Knees beneath your hips, toes tucked. Inhale, cat, cow, inhale, cow, pose. Look up, chest up, belly drops, hips up, curving the spine. Exhale, tuck the chin, look between the knees, send the spine up high, press away from the ground. Inhale, open the chest, gaze up, belly drops, hips up, spine curves. 
Exhale, send the back body up to the sky, push away from the ground, tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin in, look between the knees. Two more. Inhale. Inhale into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, neutral spine, lift the knees to float the knees about six inches off of your mat. Just breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, lower the knees down. Shoulders above the wrist, neutral spine. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower your chest down to one side. Roll over to the opposite side and come back up. Circulating the torso around the hips, down to the ground and back up to neutral spine. Moving through your shoulders, moving through the chest and the wrists and the hands, moving through the arms, and even start to find your own movement. Maybe you make circles, maybe you sway side to side, maybe you make waves with your body lowering down and coming back up. Just loosen up into the body and start to notice and feel where the points of tension are. Any stuck tension, any soreness, fatigue, pain. Where you feel strong, where you feel less strong, and just feel into those parts of your body as you explore for the points which need release. Moving into these points of the body which require release in order to create true rest for the body. flowing through your own movements, taking some time to really take note of where the stiffness, the tension, the stuckness is. Coming back to a tabletop position, spread your knees wide to the edges of your mat, bring your big toes together, send your seat back to meet your heels, reach the arms forward, rest the chin or chest down to your mat, chin or forehead down to your mat as you bring your chest down to the ground. Stretching the arms out straight in front of you. Letting your seat sink towards your heels and letting the body sink into the hip flexors, the psoas. And just breathe all the way through your toes, through your knees, through your hip flexor, up through the spine, out through the crown of the head and out through the fingertips. Prana flowing between you and the earth. Find a deep inhale, exhale, press into the palms, lift your chest back up, walk the hands back underneath the shoulders, bring the knees back neutral underneath the hips and parallel to each other, 
fingers spread evenly, tuck the toes, lift those knees again on your next inhale, about six inches off your mat. Deep breath here, big sigh, inhale. Exhale, send the hips up behind you, send the chest towards your thighs. Finding yourself moving into a downward facing dog. Feet evenly planted in line with the hips. Sending the hips up, chest towards the thighs, gaze between the feet. Fingers spread evenly, arms straight and strong, maybe even a slight micro bend in the elbows. Relax the head and neck. Inhale here. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands one little step at a time. Mindfully making your way to the front of your mat. Coming forward into Uttanasana, standing forward fold, folding over the legs. Chest to the thighs, relax the head and neck. Take hold of either elbow with the hand and just hang here for 10 breaths, perhaps bending the knees a fair bit for this first fold, listening to your body. Just let gravity lengthen the spine and imagine all the tension melting away from the neck and shoulders, melting all distractions and unnecessary thoughts out of the mind. fingertips or hands on the shins or thighs, straight spine, crown of the head in line with the spine. We'll take five breaths here in Ardha Uttanasana. Tuck the belly button in, rise up all the way to stand. Palms come together above head, exhale, thumbs to your heart center. Deep breath here. Exhale, release the arms down to your sides, mountain pose, Tadasana, spread your toes wide, feet evenly, distributing the weight onto your mat, micro bend in the knees, tuck the tailbone under slightly, tuck the belly button in, Roll the shoulders away from your ears, palms facing forward. Deep breaths. Even in this posture of strength and effort of stira, you can still find ease and relaxation within that strength. Bringing sukha into the breath. Deep, slow breaths. breath in. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the sacrum, clasping the fingers one inside of the other. Pull the hands back down 
along the glutes, roll the shoulders back, press the hips forward, lean back with the heart, look up to the sky. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, tucking the belly button in, coming back with a straight spine. S point the index fingers down towards the ground. Tuck the belly button in, tuck the tailbone forward, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, keeping the arms behind the body interlaced. Folding forward, bending the knees. And allowing the arms to float in the air wherever they go for you. And as you fold here for five breaths, again, imagine all the tension melting out of the shoulders and neck. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower the hands back down to the sacrum, and then just let them fall down along the legs to your mat. Palms flat on the mat in front of the feet, relax the head and neck, just breathe here. Halfway lift on fingertips or hands on shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back for a plank pose. Five breaths in your plank body, all in one long line. Here we'll go straight up to downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, tuck the belly button in, send the hips up high behind you, press into the hands, step the feet forward a little bit, and find yourself in your downward dog, torso and chest moving towards the thighs, gaze between the feet, body in a triangle-like shape, straight arms, head and neck relaxed, perhaps a slight bend in the elbows, very, very little bend if you tend to hyperextend the joints. Inhale your right leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands, lower your back knee down, finding a low lunge position. Inhale on the fingertips, lift the chest, gaze up to the sky. Exhale here. Inhale, maybe pulling yourself forward a little bit, but making sure that front knee doesn't ever go past the toes. Keeping that back toe tucked. Inhale, pull the chest forward, lean into the hips a little bit, stretch that left quadricep. Deep breath here. Exhale, point the left toes down on the mat, flatten out that left foot. And again, deep breath in through the heart. Chest lifted, gaze up. Three breaths. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck those left toes. Send your seat back to meet the left heel. Point your right toes up to the sky, fold over that right leg. Inhale here. Exhale, come forward again into your low lunge. This time, inhale the arms up, strong core, arms up alongside the ears, palms facing in towards each other. Five breaths. Press into that front foot, lengthen the spine out of the hips. Breathe here, strengthen the core, strengthen the pelvic floor. Inhale, 
exhale, plant the hands on either side of that front foot, straighten out the back leg, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga down to the mat. Point the toes behind, inhale, low cobra, three breaths, lift the chest just a bit off the mat, gaze forward, elbows tucked in along the ribs and still bent. Tops of the feet pointing behind, legs together. Inhale, exhale, flatten out with the chest, bring the forehead to your mat for a moment, but keep the hands and elbows where they are. Inhale, lift the head, tuck the toes, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg up behind you. Exhale, bring that foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down. Coming into a low lunge with the hands on your fingertips on the opposite side now. Lifting your chest, lifting your gaze, sinking in a little bit to the hips, but making sure that front knee doesn't go past the toes, and making sure that the hips are square. Breathing deeply. Inhale. Maybe sink in a little bit further into the hips, feeling into that right quadriceps. Deep breath in. Exhale, flatten out that right foot and sink in a little more. Breathe here, three breaths. Inhale, exhale, tuck the right toes, send your right hip back towards the right heel, point the left toes to the sky, fold over that left leg. Inhale here, exhale, pull yourself forward, coming back into your low lunge position, but this time inhale the arms up alongside the ears, palms facing in towards each other. Tuck the belly button in, lift the spine out of the hips, press into that left foot, feel the strength in the legs, the core and pelvic floor. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the hands down on either side of that left foot. Straighten out the right leg. Step the feet back to meet in plank. Five breaths here in your plank, pressing the space between the shoulder blades up, slightly pressing into the hands, fingers evenly spread. Wrist beneath the shoulders, body all in one. Long line, crown of the head in line with the spine. Feel your strength in your body, in your arms, in your chest, in your core, in your legs. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees down, parallel to each other, thighs together. Point the toes behind, feet together. Send your seat back to meet the heels. Bring the arms alongside the legs and the forehead to your mat, finding Garbhasana, Fetus Pose, or Child's Pose. Just breathing deeply here in your child's pose, bringing your intention to your mind of what you are releasing, and 
finding that release through a moment of divine rest. bringing the arms out in front of you, planting your weight again a bit into the palms, inhale, lift the chest, head and neck, and pull yourself forward for a moment into tabletop position, bringing the shoulders above the wrist, toes tucked behind, spine neutral, crown, in line, crown of the head in line with the spine. Just breathing here, feeling your breath flow through your body, as you come back out of a moment of rest and return to activation and releasing. Deep breath in, exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale in your downward dog, big sigh. Inhale here, exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on fingertips or on shins. Exhale, folding forward, tuck your belly button into your spine, inhale, rise up, arms up and out to your sides, palms come together above head, exhale, thumbs to your heart, deep breath in, exhale, release the arms to your sides, inhale, arms rise, palms come together above head, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Tuck your belly button into your spine. Inhale, lift your right leg up behind you. Point your toes to the sky. Lean over your left leg, planting the palms strong on your mat. Standing split. Inhale. Exhale, plant that right foot down alongside the left. Fold forward. Three breaths. Tuck the belly button into the spine, inhale, leaning forward into the palms, lift the left foot to the sky, point the toes up towards the sky, fold over that right leg, breathe in here, standing split. Inhale. Exhale, bring the feet back parallel to each other. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on shins. Exhale, fold forward, plant the palms, step the feet back, plank pose. Chaturanga down to your mat. Point the toes behind, inhale, cobra pose. Lifting the chest, straightening the arms, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze forward, pelvis in contact with the earth. Deep breath in, big sigh, inhale, 
Exhale, lower back down, flat on your mat. Bring your arms forward, lengthen your whole body, point the toes. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands beneath the shoulders, press into the tops of the feet. We're gonna move into upward facing dog, so the elbows start in the same alignment as Chaturanga. You're going to press into the tops of the feet, pull the chest forward through the arms, lift the pelvis off the mat, but then let the spine curve, sinking the hips towards the ground, but not making contact with thighs or knees, only tops of the feet. Shoulders away from the ears, chest forward, gaze forward, upward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, pressing into the tops of the feet, roll over the toes, send the hips up and back, pressing into the arms, pressing the chest down towards the thighs, downward facing dog. You may need to step your feet forward a little bit, to find your downward dog. Breathing in your downward facing dog, feeling the strength in your body, maybe pedaling the feet and bending the knees. standing forward fold. into your spine, inhale your right leg up behind, point the toes to the sky, exhale lower that right foot all the way back and down for a high lunge position, coming on to the right ball of the foot, lifted right heel, straight leg, bend in that left knee, left knee floating above the left heel, inhale the arms up alongside the ears, finding a high lunge. Exhale, flatten out that right foot at a 45 degree angle at hips width distance, squaring your hips to the front edge of your mat, finding warrior one. Once you've found your warrior one with that left knee bent, knee above the heel, Back leg, 45 degree angle, straight and strong, hips square the front edge of your mat. Just breathe here for five breaths. Inhale, straighten out your front leg. Fold over that front leg into Pajvottanasana Pyramid Pose. Breathing in your pyramid pose. Sometimes you have to adjust the feet to bring them in a little bit closer towards each other from front to back. And then just fold over that front leg, breathing here. 10 breaths.
inhale into a halfway lift. Straighten up, make sure that front leg is nice and straight. And maybe even heel toe the front leg in towards the midline a little bit. Exhale, bring your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Inhale, the left arm in the air, coming into a revolved triangle pose. Inhale here, Parvita Trikonasana. Exhale, lower that left hand down on the outside of the left foot. Right hand down underneath the right shoulder. Pivot that right foot to lift the right heel. Step the feet back to meet in plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga halfway down. Point the toes behind, lift the chest. Upward facing dog. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Spadasana. Exhale, pressing into the tops of the feet, rolling over the toes. Sending the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Ten breaths here or in child's pose before we do the opposite side. I am a being of ultraviolet light. Jill, so Coming forward into Uttanasana, standing forward, fold, fold over the legs. I am inspired by divine intelligence. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Inhale, tuck halfway lift. Exhale, tucking the belly button into your spine. Inhale, lifting that left foot up high, pointing the left toes to the sky. Exhale, lower the left foot down, coming onto the ball of the left foot. Hips square, coming up for a high lunge, pressing into that front foot, knee above the heel, arms alongside the ears, palms together, deep breath. towards the midline a little bit, fold over that right leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring that left hand to the outside of the right foot. Inhale, the right arm up, coming into revolved triangle pose.
Inhale here. Exhale, lower that right hand down on the outside of the right foot, left hand down underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, flex that left foot, lifting the left heel, straightening out the left leg. Step back to meet the feet parallel for plank. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga down. Inhale, your back bend of choice. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale in your downward dog. Exhale, big toes together, knees wide to the edges of your mat. Send your seat back to meet your heels, arms stretch forward. Release into finding rest. Inhale here, exhale, press into the palms, start to lift the chest, walk the hands back underneath the shoulders, lift the seat off the heels, bring the knees parallel, tuck the toes, finding tabletop position once again. Inhale your right arm out to your right side, exhale, bring that arm through your left arm, rolling onto the outside of the right shoulder. Coming into a thread the needle position, Twisting through the spine, breathing into the kidney area. into that left hand, push yourself back up, hands beneath the shoulders, tabletop position, inhale the left arm out to your left side, exhale bring that left arm through the right arm, lowering onto the left outside of your shoulder, breathing here, thread the needle, Exhale, press into that right palm, push yourself back up to your tabletop position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, toes tucked, spine neutral, crown of the head in line with the spine. Breathe here. Deep breath in, big sigh. Press into the palms, press into the toes, lift the knees off your mat, six inches or so off the mat. Breathe here, five breaths. Inhale, exhale, stretch the seat up and back, coming into your downward facing dog. Breathing here for five breaths. Exhale, walk your feet to your hands. 
coming forward into your Uttanasana, standing forward, fold, folding over the legs. And this time, bring the hands behind the ankles, wrapping the arms on, along the backs of the calves. Relax the head and neck, fold here, breathe as deeply as you can into the back body. Inhale, halfway lift, releasing the hands out in front of you. Hands on shins, straight spine, five breaths. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward, lift the heels off your mat. Bring your seat to meet your heels bringing the thighs parallel to the mat and parallel to each other, lifting the chest straight spine. Inhale, the arms out and up, palms come together above head. Exhale, thumbs to your heart center, finding your balance, rolling the heels in towards each other underneath the seat. Find a drishti or a focal point to look at, one non-moving point. Breathe here. down alongside the hips or thighs and roll yourself down onto your seat. Perhaps face the long edge of your mat and bring the soles of your feet together, the knees out alongside the body and making their way down to the ground. So maybe you're even actively using the hip flexors to press the knees down. As you lengthen the spine, bring the hands along the ankles. Lift the chest forward slightly. Breathe in here. Deep breath in. Big sigh. And just check that the flesh of your seat of the glutes is pulled back out from underneath you so that you're really sitting on the seat bones and relaxing any effort to press the knees to the ground and just letting them float where they are. Inhale the arms up above head. Exhale folding forward letting the hands fall where they may as you start to feel any tightness in the hips. Once the hips are telling you that they're feeling the stretch, just rest there for a moment. Maybe that means the arms are still pretty much straight, or maybe you make your way down onto your elbows. But just take a moment to rest here. Let your head and neck relax. And just breathe into the hips, giving them some time to soften. Finding a deep inhale, exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, maybe now coming down onto the elbows if you haven't already, and again relax the head and neck there. Maybe this is as far as you feel to go. You can also put a cushion or a blanket between your head and your feet or your chest and your feet, or you can stack the hands on top of your feet and relax your forehead onto the hands. 
or even bend the elbows and rest your cheeks in your hands, chin and cheeks in your hands so that the forehead still is looking towards the ground. Find what works for you and we'll be here for a few minutes. Just releasing any old energy stuck in the hip flexors and allowing this moment of both release and rest. Find a deep breath and a big sigh. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> and as you next inhale, stretch your arms out in front of you. Without moving very much, just very slowly start to press your weight into your hand. Then very slowly start to straighten out the arms, lifting the chest, lifting the forehead away from the ground. And then just one little step at a time, sliding the hands back, one by one. Just very slowly again, make your way up into a seat. Coming back up with the straight spine, rest the hands on the ankles again for a minute. Well, not a full minute, but a moment. <laughs> and just breathe here, coming back upright, feeling the energy move back down from the crown. Tuning in to the subtle vibrations in the body, deep breath in. Big sigh. Two more, inhale. Release. One more, inhale. Release. And now very slowly, you're gonna bring your feet flat, a little wider than hips width distance, and bring the hands alongside the hips or just behind the body. Lower your knees in to one side, and then the other windshield wipering the legs. 
finding where you feel comfortable to place your breath, maybe inhaling to one side and then the other, or inhale, exhale to center, inhale other side, exhale to center, feeling into what works for you, and just windshield wipering the legs side to side ten times each side. And next we'll come into a wide-legged seated forward fold, again pulling the flesh of the seat out from underneath you to come onto the seat bones. And send the legs out wide, but don't force them so wide that you can't fold forward. So about 70% of your full length. And start by just rolling out the ankles a little bit, straightening out the spine, making sure you can feel the sit bones on the earth. Loosen up the ankles, loosen up the calves, maybe sway to one side and then the other, loosening up the psoas. And then coming into stillness, inhale your arms up, flex your toes as we get into the posture first. Arms come up, toes point to the sky, tuck the belly button to the spine on your next exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, keeping the spine straight. And once you feel that you think your spine might start to round, let your hands relax down onto the mat in front of you or ground in front of you. And then we'll start like we did with that last fold. But now you can sort of just let the feet relax. And keeping the arms straight here for a, min a moment and letting the head and neck relax, breathing into your fold, slowly softening the backs of the legs. Letting the legs relax as they stretch. And as you slowly sink in, a little bit at a time, deep breath in, ah, breath out. And again, if you want to prop yourself, you can put a bolster, a blanket, or blocks underneath your torso. Or you can come down onto your elbows and forearms. Just let the head and neck relax. If you have more space, you can bring your chest all the way down. Listen to your body, your practice. You want to be at the edge of your stretch, so not a full, deep expression of the stretch as if you're in a yang practice, but a more yin approach, allowing yourself to surrender to the posture, relaxing in without forcing anything, letting everything relax with gravity. soften in wherever you feel you can land. Perhaps again stacking the arms on top of each other and resting the forehead on the hands or bending the elbows and resting the chin and cheeks in the hands. Listen to your body and be here for some time to stretch and release. 
as you find rest and relaxation. to breathe deeply and slowly. And we'll take 10 releasing sighs, cleansing inhales and releasing sighs here. Inviting light in through your breath. And exhaling all apana, all waste, all toxins. <sighs> out in front of you, press into the palms lightly, inhale, exhale very slowly, start to press into the hands, walking the hands one little step at a time, slowly coming up, straightening out the spine again, coming back up into an upright position, keeping the legs wide still for a moment as you come upright. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring your legs in one at a time so they come right out in front of you just for a moment. Plant the hands alongside the hips and just shake out the legs. And then facing the short edge of your mat again, bringing your knees in to meet your chest and your hands along top of the shins. Roll yourself back and down onto your spine and roll a bit along the spine, massaging out the whole back body. As we start to ground in, coming into stillness now, rooting into the earth, pull the knees into your chest, but keep the sacrum on the ground so the knees come in towards the base of the rib cage. The arms are still active here, elbows are bent as you pull the knees in a bit, pressing the sacrum into the ground, pressing the back of the head into the ground, shoulder blades into the ground. Breathe here. 
massaging out the digestive organs with the thighs. Maybe roll a little bit side to side with the knees. Then we're going to start to make some circles with the knees. So you'll pull the knees out wide to the edges of your body outside of the rib cage. And then forward and back into each other above the hips and in towards the belly, towards the base of the rib cage. Uh, inhale the knees out to the sides. Exhale them down and forward to the pelvis. And in back to meet each other above the hips and to the chest. Keep moving through that, inhaling the knees out, exhaling them down and together. And back in towards the rib cage. Opening the root chakra, clearing any stuck emotion from the hip flexors, and massaging out the digestive organs. Deep, slow breaths in time with the movement. together and into your chest on your next exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your forehead to meet your knees. Apanasana, breathe here. Five breaths. Inhale, the legs up straight in the air. Bring the hands just underneath the sacrum, underneath the hips, and flex the feet to the sky, legs in the air, breathing here. Here we'll take five cleansing inhales and releasing sighs or lion's breath, sticking the tongue out, eyes wide on the exhales. Inhale, release. Exhale, release the hands out from underneath the sacrum. Slowly let the legs come down onto your mat. Point the toes. Inhale, the arms behind. Stretch the whole body long. Reach. Exhale, lower your arms down to your sides. Let the feet separate to the corners of your mat and fall out naturally as they do. As the arms come alongside the body, tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest to lift the chest a bit, giving space for the lungs. Let the head and neck relax down onto your mat. As you let the legs relax, let the feet falling out naturally. The ankles softening. The calves softening and growing heavy. As the knees fall open slightly. The hips are settled and the pelvis sinks into the ground, rooting down. As the back body grows heavy, the spine sinks in, the back of the head sinks in. 
you are grounded, you are stable, as the back of the palms grow heavy. And the neck and the jaw and the shoulders relax completely. Maybe stretching the jaw open and then allowing it to soften and settle as your breath becomes slow and natural, releasing any intention or control of the breath, allowing it to settle, to become a little more shallow, just like before you fall asleep. Yet in Shavasana, you are fully relaxed, yet still aware and awake, allowing yourself to be separated from your physical body, to connect to your higher spirit body as the body integrates your practice, letting all the old die away so that you can return reborn after your Shavasana. starting to activate again. Take a deep breath in. A big sigh and wiggle your fingers. Maybe even inhaling the arms behind the head, stretching the whole body long. And then considering how you would like to come up from your Shavasana, renewed, reborn. Maybe rolling back and forth along the spine and popping yourself up into a seat, or very gently rolling onto one side of the body and pushing yourself back up as you feel ready. And once you've come up into a seat, you can inhale your arms up above head, and your palms come together, thumbs to your heart center on your exhale. Bow your head slightly, releasing any intention as it has now been released, and connecting to simply how you feel now. Breathe in love, breathe out healing, breathe in connection, breathe out awareness. Breathe in light, breathe out joy.
may you find all the rest and recharging you need at this time. And may love, healing, joy, connection guide you deeper and deeper along your journey of awakening. Namaste. Satnam. Thank you for joining me for this practice today. Loka Samasta Suki no Mamatu. May all beings be infinitely happy and free. Hope to see you again soon. Blessed be.